Welcome to the conference, please enter your passcode. You have joined the conference. Good evening, Anand. Hey, Pankaj. Very good morning. As everybody, every day, I wish it's good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I have Rika and Peter with me in this room. Hey, Rika. Hi, Peter. How are you guys doing today? Just hanging on. <laughs> <laughs> It's been some time since we connected, no? That's true. <laughs> okay, then you guys better talk today, hmm. huh? Sure, Pankaj. Let's get on to the business, folks. Anand, as you're aware that the Project Chrome is one of the crucial projects of the organization at this moment. We have identified you to execute it offshore. You have complete responsibility of it. Okay, sure, Pankaj. Peter, Erika, I have immense confidence in Anand, and he will make it a great success. Sounds good. Anand, I'm sure you have something to ask. Go on. An obvious question, Pankaj. When is this due? Yesterday. <laughs> Jokes aside, this needs to be closed by the end of this quarter. It's a direct message from executive management. I understand it's tough. But we got to do this. Pankaj, you don't have to mention. That's why we have Anand on this. Anand? Yes, Erika? Ensure adherence to the timelines. No excuses or exceptions will be entertained as far as this project is concerned. Okay? Sure, Erika. Understand the higher-ups have been looking at this closely. Please tell us if you have any specific concerns or issues which we can address. Uh, not now. I have to discuss with my team and come back to you. Anand, I would like to hear the success story of Project Chrome in our next conference. Not your <laughs> issues and concerns. Sure, Erika. I'm pretty sure you can pull this off easily, Anand. You have all our support. Thanks, Pankaj. All right. Then let's let success keep rolling, shall we? <laughs> okay, that's all I had. If you guys don't have anything else, we can log off the call. Okay. I'm good. We're good too. Okay, Anand. I'll be traveling there to support you. We'll meet you in the office next week. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. Morons, I tell you. If I had the powers, I would have shot them in the conference call itself. Especially that bitch, Erika. I, I want to kill her. Bunch of demons. Anything wrong, Anand? I told them last year not to hire so many people without any confirmed contract from customers. They didn't listen to me. Our RFPs are not getting through. Some of the contracts are not getting renewed because of our high billing rates. They won't listen. And now, to save some money, they want us to let go of people here. Oh my God! Do you mean laying off? Yeah. And they have gone and called it Project Chrome. Unlike in the West, we do not have unemployment benefits in our country. Our employees, their families depend on this income for their survival. They don't understand all these emotions. They just want us to fire. And we, like slaves, 
will go and execute every bullshit they say moreover they want us to close this within this quarter how is this possible yaar i just hate it vijay i need your help i want you to make this impossible project possible what do you say sure let's do it anand but why do you think it's impossible nothing is impossible in fact i see this is an opportunity yeah opportunity to help the organization when it's having its bad time I'm glad you are confident Vijay but this is not as easy as it seems so Yeah I understand it's tough Handling this kind of project is like playing a game We have to take off the emotional quotient out and play tactfully Yes it's tough but I will take this as a challenge and complete it You don't worry You are amazing But I need your complete support I might need help from admin department senior management it and hr department sure done deal well then by tomorrow morning i'll come up with a list of people and then let's reconnect okay sure good luck to you thanks see you then i am kind of relieved now eh? that's fine thanks I see a few top performers in this list. Not few. Most of them are top performers. Yes. There is a reason. Before that, can you please let me know how we are going to compensate? We pay two months gross pay as compensation. That's organization policy. That's for official layoff. Mhm. Mm If we take the traditional route, we might get exposed in media. that will get us bad reputation that's obvious so considering the current financial situation of the company i want to save all the severance money so i will make them move on their own in other words unofficial layoffs vijay you are going off track <laughs> our objective is to reduce the headcount and not to save the company some severance money i don't think this unofficial things work out So, do you think official layoffs with severance paid will end up smoothly? No. As you said yesterday, we have to deal with the situation at any cost, be it official or unofficial. Coming back to your question, why top performers on this list? Number one, they are the one who always demand hikes, on-site opportunities, and always have big aspirations. We have tough time convincing for all small things. For the only reason. that they perform well so they are my main target number 2 they don't disclose anywhere that they have been fired their ego won't let them reveal the truth besides there is a social stigma attached to being fired in that case they will not be harmful for us that's the strategy behind preparing this list hmm so what you are saying is that we manage our business with average performers That's a big risk, Vijay. Risk is everywhere. That's why we are here. Managers like us prefer average performers who give little trouble than high performers who keeps nagging around. Moreover, I have all cross trainings in place. I think I should be able to manage. It's a heck of a strategy, huh? Brilliant. Yeah. Go ahead with it. All the best to you. Thanks. Inka. చెప్పు నువ్వే జిఆర్టీఆ ఖజానానా ఓకే డన్ నేను మళ్ళీ చేస్తాను బాయ్ హే క్యారీ ఆన్ మ్యాన్ ఐఎమ్ డన్ గర్ల్ ఫ్రెండా నో ఫియాన్సీ ఓ ఓకే సో వాట్సాప్ హౌ ఇట్స్ గోయింగ్ యాజ్ యూజువల్ విజయ్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఎ రిలీజ్ ఫైవ్ త్రీ టూ నెక్స్ట్ వీక్ స్లాగింగ్ మోడ్ ఇస్ ఆన్ Okay, let me come to the point. The agenda is, yesterday we had a meeting with senior management. They actually wanted to know general feedback from our team. 
any specific issues or concerns comments feedback anything i mean i'm just starting with you tell me i'm all yours the more honest you are the more i can help you uh come on well f- well for me the work the management the team everything mm-hmm. is fine my only concern is about the salary <laughs> though i've been getting very good performance ratings every year okay i'm really not happy with the salary hikes you know right last year i got only 2% hike and it was mm. really disappointing i even discussed that with you yeah true even i told you this in our last discussion right ratings are given by us managers we evaluate the individual performance and give the ratings appropriately but hikes are decided at arg level and it's purely based on company's revenue and its performance on a whole so it's something which is out of our hand at least out of my hands you will not be happy to hear this but i have to tell you this unfortunately this year is also the appraisal is going to be the same as last year yeah bitter but truth that's what they conveyed in the yesterday's meeting this year our company didn't perform as expected so they have to cut off some budget so there is no good appraisal this year as well but they are paying well for the new joinees last month a guy joined he is also 7 years experience like me but they were paying him 40% more than me <laughs> first thing you're not supposed to know other salary that's a violation but i understand what you're saying i mean we have brought all such points to the management yesterday and even we recommended some nominal hikes at least for good performers like you they didn't listen but to be frank if they keep doing this we cannot hold good talents on the other side i don't want to see my team leaving out of this company for the only reason the salary constraints so i decided to help the guys like you to get some benefits at any cost you deserve man oh thank you vijay all you need to do is just follow my words rest i'll ensure sure vijay let me know what to do okay listen to me carefully okay it's a little tricky but it always works Sh- sure as you rightly mentioned they are paying good for new joiners and taking us for granted organization should realize the good work you guys have put in the only way to make them realize is by threatening them that you are leaving the company i i told you this is a little crazy but no need to worry just trust me i'll put your case in such a way that they cannot deny it i'll clearly tell them how important and crucial you are for the project and we can't run the show without you then they will come for the negotiation with you that's where you can demand whatever you want so just raise the resignation in the hr portal i'll take care of the rest what uh vijay uh i need some time some time for what to think on this what to think here i explained you everything clearly right then what see we should complete this before this budget is frozen okay come on what man any problem i am little worried vijay my marriage is scheduled in another 20 days and i don't think i can take a risk at this point <laughs> okay our marriage is after 2 weeks this is not going to take more than 2 days you don't worry i'll arrange the meeting tomorrow your hike is confirmed then and there honestly you're worrying man but still vijay see whoever need hike they are doing this only right what's new in this i'm not sure why you are so worried about it yeah but at this point i don't think i can take any risk i hope you understand after all this explanation you still don't believe me no no it's not like that vijay i do believe you but having my marriage fixed i can't take any risk i'm happy with what i'm getting right now then why the hell did you say that you are not happy with your current salary and wasting my time i'm sorry i'm taking back my words sorry if i wasted your time too i'm not here to listen to your apologies or do i look stupid 
Remember, your marriage leave is not yet approved. Do not let me make you that you are not attending your own marriage. What? Just do what I said. Otherwise, I might have to take extreme decisions. You behave differently today. I understand you are trying to help me, but at this situation, I can't take any risk. Please don't force me. Force? Am I forcing you? I have not done that till now. Don't make me do that. Are you crazy? How the hell can you ask me to do that? If you threaten me like this, I'll have to complain to the senior management. Mind it. Oh. Okay. Whom do you want to talk? Anand? Or his boss Pankaj? I'm calling Pankaj right now. You don't understand. Hello Pankaj? Yeah, this is Vijay. Yeah, it's going good. I'm talking to Arun. He's got concerns. Just want to talk to you. Yeah. I just put you on speaker. Hi Pankaj, uh, this is Arun. Hey Arun, tell me. Uh, I received a star award from you last month. You remember me? Yeah, could be. Uh, tell me what's the concern. Uh, uh, look, uh, Vijay is forcing me to resign. Arun, no complaints on Vijay are entertained. Please cooperate with him. You know, he's asking me to resign. I know everything. Just what he says. See, I'm in the middle of something. Don't disturb me, okay? Vijay, can you please take care of all these things? Yeah, 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 sure, Pankaj, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Pankaj. Yeah. You call anybody in this organization. Everyone will respond the same way. Why? That's what it is. What? That's what it is. I'm asking you the reason. Why are you all targeting me? You're not alone. You're one among many. This is just your turn now. That's it. This is what is called firing? Not really. What if I had resigned? See Arun, there is nothing personal about this. Management has come up with a list of people whose services no longer required for company. And your name is there. That's it. Oh my god. I thought you were helping me with this resignation drama. But tell me one thing. Why am I there in the list? What's wrong with me? Why all of a sudden the company doesn't want my services? Arun, I am not here to give you any reasons or explanations. Just do what I said. What do you think about me? I didn't get this job with someone's mercy or recommendation. I studied hard, I cleared the interview and I got this job. Now who are you or somebody to ask me to resign? If company is not doing well financially, Okay, I don't know to name them, but there are so many who are being paid more doing nothing. Ask them to leave first. If that's not in your hands, then please convey that I'm not going to resign. Do not behave like a school kid, Arun. Just imagine, if I tell you that you are an underperformer or having attitude issues, can you prove me wrong? You have seen, right? Nobody will support you. You just cannot do anything. Rather, you should be very happy that we are not branding you in such matters. Do not make things complicated, man. The decision is already made. You or I can't change it now. If you resign without making any noise, there are very good chances that you will be hired back. Otherwise, this feedback will be shared with all the companies not just in India, but across the world. You can never pursue any career in this industry anymore. Decide yourself. What do you want to do? The Star Performer Award goes to Mr. Arun Kumar N. Best Employee of the Year Award goes to Mr. Arun Kumar N. Ladies and gentlemen, please give him a big round of applause. Are you the same Vijay who has motivated me all these years talking like this? Yes, I'm the same Vijay. So? Is there any value for all the hard work I've put in all these Come years? Come on. Haven't we recognized with all such awards, rewards? Didn't you get your hefty bonus? Nothing left unpaid. And at the same time, I also feel that I've wasted seven precious years of my life working so hard for this company. That's actually your... I know. I know what you're going to say. That's my innocence 
or ignorance of not knowing how to balance personal and professional life but one thing is true vijay i didn't put all my hard work to get awards or rewards i thought it's my company and all of you are my team i never let you or any of you down however after this prolonged discussion i don't think i can continue here i don't feel like it's my company anymore you win i resign but i need a small favor vijay a small favor do i didn't pay any attention to my personal life all these years by god's grace my marriage got settled it's in another 20 days and if i become jobless it will be cancelled so please give me time until then i'll be grateful to you for the Arun, rest of my life you're back to square one again the decision is already made that you have to resign by today at any cost and please do not emotionally link your personal matters to your professional matters look at the things objectively you are saying your marriage will be getting cancelled because you are jobless Just tell me what is the guarantee that it will not happen after your marriage You have to deal with this kind of matter with yourself Always think rationally think rationally rational thinking Well after having this prolonged discussion my rational thinking is telling me that isn't it illegal to force an employee to resign So So what Since you don't want to do me any favor and asking me to think rationally, I'm saying I will not resign. I have decided to take this up legally. Legally. Yes. Legally. Unakku na solradhu puriyala la. Unakku solranda. Enna patti unakku theriyala. Oru nimisham. Hello, Alan? Yeah. Can you please come to MO4? Yeah. I need Arun Yen's data. Come quick. Yeah. You don't want to resign, right? I was being nice to you. That's my mistake. Let HR come. Then you'll understand. Yeah. Okay. Hi Vijay. Hi Alan. Come come. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So, when are you going to your hometown? Planning for next month, why? Okay. I need that famous uh, tin tinnal veli tinnal veli halwa tinnal veli halwa oh yeah, my god yeah, i yeah. really like sure. it please get that sure, sure, sure. thanks sure i'll get <laughs> it yeah. i was talking to arun mm-hmm. he's not convinced so do you have this guy's data for 7 years well we are maintaining a data only for the last 5 years uh, uh, that's fine that that should uh-huh, be fine uh-huh. can you please pull that for us yes give me a bit arun kumar n employee id 167834 okay yeah got it the first violation was made on 24th may 2012 at 11:30 am you had accessed orkut the next violation was on 13 june 2012 from 324 to 341 you have accessed ircctc next violation on the same day red bus several seasons greetings and birthday wishes had been sent through the company's mailbox many printouts for personal use you have done tailgating around 17 times in the last 5 years my god So what's the action to be taken for such violations Well as per the consent given by the employees on their joining date uh, this is against the internet and asset usage policy of the organization this action leads to termination of the employee from the services Termination is it Mhm Okay thanks Alan It's okay thanks for your data Thank you We'll let you know if I need anything All right sure So Finally it's going to be a termination. I believe you know the difference between termination and resignation. Let me tell you one second. Resignation is you are leaving the company on your own. Termination is you are being thrown out of this company. You will have tough time finding another job with such remarks. 
Look, I still have mercy on you. One final call. I am giving one minute. Just 60 seconds. I open HR portal in my laptop. Either raise the resignation right now, right here. Or screw up your own career. It's up to you. Can I get an on-site opportunity? Yeah! Vijay, I'm going to get an operation, Vijay. See, your mother is not personal. I need work from home. Don't irritate me. Re... Resign, pun, 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 Vijay. Hot 20% here. I'll get you 40%. Just do what I say. What should I do here? You just trust me what I'm saying. Okay? Where are you coming from? What? I don't have a job in the medical insurance lab side of Vijay. I want it right now. I have other things to do. Just go. Please, please, please leave me, Vijay. Please. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Whenever you jump, you get hike. Just do what I said. Please do not terminate me. But how can I resign? What percentage hike will you give me? I don't have time. I cannot resign, Vijay. Please. Don't irritate. Please, Vijay, help me get a hike, no? How many times I'm telling you? Will I get on-site opportunity? It's up to you. Please, don't force me. I need hike. I can't resign. You want to get terminated? Please. Just stop crying. You don't understand English? Just resign and leave. What an excellent job, Vijay. I'm amazed at your capability. <laughs> you did it yeah. so effortlessly. Kudos and cheers. Yes. I enjoyed every bit of it. I'm so proud of myself because not everybody can finish the way I did it. True, it's difficult to handle. Yeah. Firing people is not as easy as recruiting. Particularly those from campus recruits. They think they will change the world. And firmly believe that they are the only few talent the organization is looking for. They don't understand organizations are looking for those kind of bodies to show and gain some projects. <laughs> Making such morons leave the company was little tricky. Hmm. Of course I have mastered it. That was quite a lot. How did you handle? Yeah. It's tough. One or two is fine. Trust me, playing with people's emotion is really challenging. But all I did is, I just made them realize that we are not doing any charity here, we are doing business. As simple as that. Also, I heard you have promised people outside contacts for jobs. <laughs> it's part of the game created some fake deals just to avoid arguments and prolonged discussions what if they want to join you know what few greedy stupid fellows did buy that <laughs> and they got relieved smoothly without any noise you are brilliant that's what we wanted right You got their browsing history, access information from HR. Do we really have that kind of information? 
I was actually expecting this from you. If I tell you that you have accessed Gmail on 23rd of November 2016 from 11:35 a.m. to 11:45 a.m., can you deny that? You may not agree, but you cannot deny that as well. It's pretty common for everybody to access Gmail, Facebook, IRCTC, bank sites, right? Nobody remembers what they have done so long. I just made use of it. Though we are not maintaining any such data, I just use that for threatening them. I know it'll work. I had it as my last option. You're brilliant. <laughs> I can't help myself be amazed by what you have done. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Pleasure is mine, Anand. I utilize this opportunity to the fullest. I will not hear any excuse on my promotions. Okay. <laughs> I have completed the project room successfully. Well, project room is not yet completed. There is one more firing left. Oh. Out of two employees. Who are they? You and me. What? That's true. One of us has to leave the company. What is saying, Anand? You, 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 kidding, right? Neither my age, nor my position, nor my designation allow me to do that. Have you ever seen me kidding? This is serious, Vijay. One of us has to go out. So, who is your pick? You or me? I thought about it a lot Vijay. I have decided to leave the company myself. Because I feel you deserve to be here for all that you have done for the company. Management is not listening. They are insisting on you to send you out of the organization. because of the violations you have committed what the blunder you have committed vijay yes don't you know that threatening employees and forcing them to leave the organization is the biggest violation that you can commit it will get the company bad name Why are you all of a sudden talking like this, Anand? You yourself asked me to do so, right? I asked you. I am asking you now to resign and leave your job. Will you do it now? No. Then don't claim that you have committed because someone asked you to do it. You are accountable for what you have done. I have not done that for my personal benefit. You told me to do so. I just followed your words. Followed my words? Well then, follow my words now too. Anand, I am requesting you. Please don't trouble me. Come on. You created the trouble for yourself, and you are telling me not to trouble you. All I can tell you now is that. It's time for you to leave and say goodbye to the company. Don't say that Anand. I'm not like others. I'm a tough guy. <laughs> you cannot manipulate me. I'm not manipulating you. I'm just telling you what's going to happen. Management has solid proofs against all the violations you have committed. 
Don't act smart, Anand. Who the hell is that management? You're not part of it. I know. I know what you are trying to do. You are trying to play the same tricks that I have applied on others. What is the proof that I have forced employees to leave the company? I knew that something like this might happen, and ensured not to send a single email or official communications regarding Project Rome. Then what kind of proof you have? You are smart. <laughs> By not sending all those emails about Project Rome, you have been smart. I appreciate it. Really appreciate it. But unfortunately, you've been captured in the CCTV cameras while executing Chrome. I don't have time. Just stop crying. How many times I'm telling you? Just resign and leave. You want to get terminated? First, do what I said. Then we'll decide. You don't understand English? See, other than personal matters. I want to help you guys. I don't care if it affects my career too. Just do what I said. Just resign and leave. All of them are young and less experienced, and they have a lot of opportunities outside. They all could get jobs easily. You know, right? With my experience, salary, I can't get a job. Save me from this, Anand. Please, I'll be forever grateful to you. It's not in my hands, Vijay. Not anymore. Please don't say that. I have family, two school-going children. I have EMIs to pay. I can't survive without this job, Anu. I'm begging you. You know how all these projects work. You're still pleading with me. I didn't expect this from you, Vijay. It's quite surprising. Anu, there is always possibility to change the decision. Please, Anu. I'm literally begging. I just can't imagine without this job. Please, Anu. Please save me. Decision is already made, Vijay. I can't change it. If I have to say something to you, I will have to repeat all those things that you have been telling to other people, whom you forced to resign, especially about personal matters. And please do not emotionally link your personal matters to your professional matters. So keep in mind. We are not terminating you for all the violations you have committed. You should be happy for that. And as you rightly said, we are here to do business, not charity. I don't know what is in store for me at office, but unlike Vijay, I am prepared for everything. Hi friends, how is the film? Did you like it? I am sure you did. You just didn't watch a forty-minute-long independent film. You also witnessed the harsh and brutal reality of the Indian IT industry. Hey, by the way, I'm Sashidhar. I'm the writer, director, and producer of this film. Yes, my spouse produced this film. You know what? Back in 2017, I had to face a lot of challenges to make this film into the reality. The biggest challenge what I faced was with the funding of this film. I literally had to spend all my savings into making of this film, and that was not a small amount. But unfortunately, I didn't get a single penny out of this film as of today, as returns. In between, I've given this film to one of the famous YouTube channels in Chennai, and they premiered this film in their YouTube channel for a couple of months, and that was also for free. So, if you think that you watched a good film, and if you want to support me, please consider paying the amount whatever you feel worth paying for this film to the bank account details or the UPI details that are mentioned on the screen. I'm giving the same details in the description of this video as well. We all spend lot of money by watching so-called big commercial films. I believe that we have to encourage small and good films like Human Resources as well. You can pay from ten rupees to hundred rupees to thousand rupees to ten thousand rupees. It's up to you and your wish. 
but please remember that every contribution matters it gives me the encouragement and motivation to make more good films in future and last but not the least please share this film with all the people who you know your friends colleagues family members literally everyone and thanks again for all the love and affection that you're showering on me i'm really blessed